Yes. Mm -hmm. Conspiracy against rights. Yes. Mm. 18 U.S. Code 241. Mm. If two or more persons conspire to injure, oppress, threaten, or intimidate any person in the state, territory, commonwealth, possession, or district. Yes. In the free exercise or enjoyment of any right or privilege secured to him by the constitutional law of the United States. Mm -hmm. Or because of his having so exercised the same. Or, yeah. If two or more persons go, yes, in the act of concealment or misrepresentation on the highway or the premises of another with the intent to prevent or hinder his free exercise or enjoyment of any right or privilege so secure, mm -hmm. they shall be fined uh, under this title or imprisoned not more than 10 years or both. Uh -huh. And if death results, as I've explained, I was actually, I died once. Mm -hmm. From the acts committed in the violation of the se section, where such acts include kidnapping, as in my son's being in the wrong grade and issuing disillusions of marriage where you gave custody to my wife. Ouch. Aggravated sexual abuse, uh, as in when I was, um, I was pissed on by another person at the homeless shelter. Attempt to kill. So many times there's been the attempt to kill. They shall be fined under this title or imprisoned for any t term of years or for life or both or may be sentenced to death. Mm. Now, for sure, uh, looking at this whole disguise, yeah, if two or more persons, mm -hmm, if the police or the sheriff's department uh, were to try to conceal or misrepresent right now. On the highway, as in driving, yes, or on the premises of another pooch. You know, last night I thought about my uh, right to inheritance, yes, Elmer and Berna Holtz, yeah. Then there was Joel's Law. It looks like for today I'm not going to be admitted to a mental facility, yes. But which of you cops is designing how you're going to have me arrested for another falsified crime, pooch? Now, I know my relatives are going to be very upset about this, not having control of my inheritance, not having control of my innovations. But if you could right now, I know they're going to be upset at the court dismissing for being incompetent. Yeah, but you really opened the door for appealing this, not because of incompetence, but because of the refusal to admit the evidence. I'm thinking I'm going to be using that Supreme Court of the United States. <clears throat> now, I know. You're saying no possible way that's going to happen. <laughs> my mother's not going to get control of my personal life. Yeah. You are going to continue to deprive me and my family of our rights. Yes. And that you will not. Well, how much money am I worth, Sheriff? Yes. Do I have any timber that you wanted me to know about? Oh, what is deprivation of rights under color of law? Mm -hmm. I think it would deprive me under the color of law for you to say that I'm mentally incompetent to stand trial mm -hmm. when you refuse to admit the evidence that I wasn't in Brennan. So, it is a crime for one or more persons using power by a governmental agency, local, state, or federal. Mm -hmm to deprive or conspire willfully to deprive another person of any right protected by the Constitution or laws of the United States. <clears throat> now, for all of you that have conspired to deprive, and then you conspired to leave the case open, and you conspired to say I was delusional, and you conspired, <clears throat> this deprivation of rights under the color of law looks worse now that you decided to use incompetent and without prejudice mm -hmm. instead of prima facie evidence instead of a probable cause <laughs> now if you had chosen to use something other than ouch, other than incompetence yes you would have had to dismiss with prejudice yes as in there was no prima facie case because you didn't have any evidence <laughs> there was no probable cause because he wasn't there <laughs> there was no witnesses <laughs> So it looks like mm -hmm. the state of Washington is guilty on two. Girl.